What is up? Workbringer here. And this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about my progress uh, during week two of Shadowlands Season 1 Mythic Plus Dungeon Tank. How's it going? So this is the end of week two and the gear that I can basically get at the beginning of week three. So it is world quest time. The world quests are pretty ridiculous right now. It's awesome how many people are here. I think that's kind of the cool part of this. That's kind of nice. But there is just so much lag. And I honestly can't even press abilities. I'm glad that I was even able to tag the boss. That was my accomplishment. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Got to do the world boss every month or every week rather. And uh, these guys don't even drop loot that I want anymore at this point. I think they drop like 207s and uh, this particular one, I don't need a 207 of that slot. So just kind of doing it to do it, to stay on top of it. For the memes also for making this video, I got gold. I'd honestly rather gold, whatever. Um, but yeah, world boss, no drops, don't need it anyway. Heading over to the good stuff, the weekly vault, I did a lot of Mythic 9s and eights and sevens. So this is what I got. As far as rating, I don't really do that. I did the LFR. Do, do not need guild. <laughs> do not need any gear from an LFR, even the upgraded one. I have a helmet already. That necklace though, and my rings are, that's not much of an upgrade for me for rings. You can see I have a two something and a two something, whatever. Rings aren't a big deal in my opinion, but that necklace is a huge upgrade for me from a 194 to a 216. So yes, please, I will take it. Uh, the, the bind on equip, the BOE that you can get necklace right now. Actually, I don't think it has, Hey, I don't think it has my stats. So go for the necklace. Good game. Uh, got a keystone, right? So we're going to drop this in there and now I am 206. That was a big item level jump. So nice. Nice stuff. I have a couple other like lobies, like my shield and whatnot, but hey, feeling good prop paladin so far. This expansion is really fun. Really, really fun. I don't die from dying, I die from mechanics. So here we are in Torghast. And uh this is uh your responsibility in the in the uh the old grind, the beginning of the week. I just do Torghast and all this stuff. I gotta go do the mall after. And so how is layer eight as a protection paladin? Well, it's a joke, but it's a fun joke. I like it. I am doing, I mean, we have anima powers and whatnot, but I'm doing 10, nine K single target to this boss. And I have the talent or anima power that is basically three charges of, a, of a hammer of, a hammer of wrath. Like my nuke, I can just pop all my cooldowns and destroy it. Lovely. Uh, before that, I do clear most things and uh, in Torghast, and I got a new uh, companion. Is that what these are? I love the battle chest. I'm not going to lie. I do the battle chest like constantly. I really look forward to doing it. I don't know why. The battle table. And I have an owl from my last, uh, I think, Renown quest or something. I'm going to go do the Renown quest pretty soon. And the owl I have now, Sika, I think, is a healer. So I've been leveling that one up. And now we got the comp. I got the tanks in the front, uh, big AOE in the back, ranged, and now a healer, and we are just destroying. So Kyrians didn't get a healer for a while, and now I have another owl. So maybe I'll have two full squads. I don't know if that other owl is going to heal. I didn't really understand what was going on. So I forget what this dungeon's called, like M something. But after the nerfs, I, I already, I mean... Prop Paladin didn't need nerfs. Holy Paladin didn't need nerfs. I think we're like two of the strongest classes in Torghast. And we just crush bosses. Layer 8, both ones, not a big issue. Give me my Soul Ash. I should even have to do this. <laughs> just give me the Soul Ash. It's like if you rolled Paladin, just just give us the, just mail us the Soul Ash. Don't actually make us do Torghast. <laughs> anyway, there's some more Soul Ash. And why do we do Soul Ash? Well, that's my Kirin Hearthstone right there, actually. We're going back to the old Rune Carver, and we're going to upgrade our Legendary. Now, if I was, like, super on top of everything, I'm turning into Legendary that I'll never use, uh, I would have already, I think, maybe been able to get the max level. But you'll see the uh, the max level one, which I'll show in a second, 
and I've been maxing Soul Ash. I'm still pretty far from it, Soul Ash wise, but I can get the rank two, three. I forget. It's the one right before the last one. Whatever. It's a big upgrade for me. Uh, two two five. Is that what it is? So now I'm two oh seven point one nine. Basically, at the end of the week, beginning of the third, however you want to think about it. And these are the dungeons I've done. I've I've gotten so close to doing eights and sevens of Plaguefall. We just haven't timed them. It's super sad. Um, people died to the tentacles. What are you going to do about it? Uh, fortified, spiteful, grievous. I've never done those ones before. And I have uh, level eight spires of ascension. I am going to die to trash this week. And I don't know what those affixes are like. So I'm going to be doing uh, that mythic eight with my guild or with this Sargeras guild that I run with. And we have voice comms and everything's a little bit more organized. And that's been my week number two, beginning of week number three, going in strong. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.